All right, guys, I am going to try to help you understand a little bit more about electron configurations. Um, so you have this maze today, and we see that we have a starting point, we have a finishing point, and we've got boxes along the way we have to navigate. So if you'll remember, we have electron configurations. We worked on these on Friday. Um, we got these by following this chart. We know that your S sublevels can only hold two electrons. P's can only have a total of six. D's, 10, and then F's would could hold a, a total of 14, okay? We know that we have to go in this order of our arrows when we're writing the configurations. However, I want you to notice I highlighted in pink here, they've written out some electronic uh, configurations shorthand. So you see they've put argon in brackets and then they finished out the configuration. So what in the world does this mean? So this means if we're gonna write um, the configuration for an element, and let's say that it's got more electrons than argon, we could actually substitute argon's configuration in brackets just like this, and then finish it out for that element. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about, okay? So we know argon has 18 electrons, all right? Because its uh, atomic number is 18. And so I know that if I'm gonna follow my chart here, in order to fill this in, we're gonna start with 1s2, 2s2. Notice I'm going to the next arrow, so we're 2p6, 3s2. And so if we add up the little tiny numbers, right now we're only totaling 12. I gotta get six more. So after 3s, I have to come over to my next arrow and I see 3p, and I know that technically if you'll remember, we made this little note on the board. P's have these three orbitals, and each one of those can hold, I'm just gonna draw lines there. Each one of those can hold two electrons for a total of six, okay? So we're gonna finish, finish this one out with three P6. So this is argon's configuration. Well, what if we take an element like potassium, okay? Potassium's atomic number is 19. So it has to have 19 electrons. That's just one more than argon. Instead of having to write out all of this all over again, the shorthand method is you take this element argon and you put it in brackets, okay? And then I know I've gotta get one more electron in here to make it potassium. So I filled up the P, so now we gotta to go to 4S. So I would say 4S1, okay? Now yes, you have to know what argon's configuration is in order to substitute it here. But once you have it written out, you're going to notice on your paper that they've used argon several times. Okay, you've got krypton, uh, there's argon again, we've got hydrogen, neon. And so what they're doing is they're using these noble gases from uh, family 18, from group 18. And these are because these last shells are full of electrons. And so you can easily put those in the brackets and then just add on to them, okay? So remember, you're gonna start here. You're gonna figure out the configuration. I might've just done that one for you, right? Um, so that's potassium right there. So you'll color in whichever box you're using to go over or down, whichever direction. You cannot go um, back to a box that you've been to before. So remember that rule and work together. Uh, if you get stuck, you had some classmates that really got this um, really well on Friday. So hopefully you will understand. All right, have fun.